My name's Tony Heaton, I'm a sculptor, and I prefer direct carving, but I carve and work in all sorts of materials. Almost all my work starts with some sort of idea that kicks around in my head for quite a long time. Then I start to think about what material I might use to resolve the idea, basically to get the idea out of my head. And um, it could manifest itself in any form, really. One of the things that I wanted to do when I was here was to make some screen prints and to really use your facilities because I don't have access to screen printing. And there was a number of, well, two ideas. The idea behind is the sweet meetings and the cycle tour of Europe were two ideas that I wanted to turn into screen prints. So that was my driving idea. And I also wanted to do some stone carving while I was here. The surprise for me was to be able to make the neon piece. I'd already made the piece that I'm showing here as a light work. So it'd been a projection, a f sort of fleeting thing, but to actually resolve it into a piece of neon was great. And that was just a passing conversation we had. And suddenly, you know, there's a neon works down the road and away we go. I was a member of the art house way back in the early 1990s when I lived in the north of England. So I'd known about the art house for many, many years. Uh, but it was fantastic to come back after 20 years, 25 years, and see what an incredibly vibrant community of artists here. And really to be met with, an, with a huge amount of friendly people who were committed to getting things done. You know, the staff here have been brilliant as well. Technical skills and, um, you know, the commitment to make things happen. We called the show Altered, and a, a lot of my work is altered in some way, and it's not always obvious. And sometimes it's obvious, and sometimes it's subtle. And uh, I, do, I do quite enjoy that uh, layers of meaning that people might take from a work so that they, um, they might see it superficially as one thing and then discover that it's something entirely different. But it does connect into the cyclical thing that I'm quite interested in. And if you look back over all my work, there is some sort of cyclical thread that runs through it and a, con a connectedness. In many ways, it's about reconnecting things. And often I make something and it's only after I've made it that I think, oh yeah, that's really what I was trying to get out of my head. So I don't, I, I'd say it's always ideas driven, but I don't always know where the idea's going or what it's gonna look like when it's resolved. 